welcome to the lecture on constitutional supercooling. So, uh, this is about the uh, you know discussion about uh, how uh, you know in the liquid depending upon the thermal gradient line, uh, there will be observation of certain undercooling and because of that uh, you will have uh, the formation of different type of uh, uh, microstructure you will have uh, depending upon you know because we have seen the cases of solute uh, segregation. Now, depending upon its extent and depending upon the extent of uh, you know the uh, convection dominated uh, diffusion or limited you know uh, diffusion in uh, liquid sometimes uh, uh, you know no diffusion in solids. So, you will have uh, we have seen that uh, there are uh, different cases and if you talk about uh, you know the uh, solute redistribution in the case of uh, you know uh, when there is no solid uh, diffusion then in that case uh, you will have uh, uh, different you know severity and uh, what we have seen is that uh, in those cases uh, when you have uh, uh, complete liquid diffusion or uh, mixing in those cases uh, your solute redistribution will be uh, going like uh, uh, you know you have uh, in the solid you will have a start from k c naught and then it will move to c naught. So, that there is and then from here uh, you know there is complete uh, liquid uh, you know um, uh, diffusion. So, your uh, uh, profile uh, uh, goes like this and uh, this is your liquid and this is your solid. So, this is solid and this is liquid. This is for known as the type 1 cases where there is uh, you know complete liquid diffusion. Now, if uh, you have a limited uh, liquid diffusion in, in those cases uh, you what you see is that your uh, from K C naught this is your K C naught that is uh, you know for the solid. So, then from here you will have uh, uh, coming up and then there will be uh, some. So, at, at this point so you have limited liquid. So, there will be some pile up and then uh, you know your uh, difference goes like this. So, this is your C naught and there will be some increase uh, in, in these cases and so uh, it, it, it goes like this. So, this is your solid and uh, similarly this is your liquid. Now, when uh, you have uh, uh, the limited uh, liquid uh, diffusion also and there is no convection. In this case there is some convection and uh, you have limited liquid diffusion. And uh, uh, when you have uh, even uh, uh, no convection and uh, you have limited uh, liquid diffusion, in those cases uh, as you have seen you have initial uh, transients uh, felt. And uh, so, in those cases your uh, you know you have this is as K C naught from here you have initial transients which is uh, observed. So, that you come to C naught and that's the uh, moves so that it comes in the solid and then in the case of uh, liquid again further you will have uh, this drop. So, that way it uh, uh, goes into. So, this will be your liquid. So, this is your uh, solid and, and similarly this is your liquid. So, that way uh, you know your uh, uh, depending upon the concentration of the uh, solute you, you see these boundary lines how they uh, you know uh, move like. Now, uh, based on that uh, you know uh, now we will talk about the uh, different uh, solidification modes and uh, also uh, a phenomena known as the constitutional supercooling. So, what we see that during uh, uh, the solidification of pure metal the solid liquid uh, interface is usually planar. So, when we talk about uh, the uh, uh, solidification of pure metals in that case the interface uh, uh, moves in a planar way uh, unless severe uh, thermal undercooling is imposed. 
Now, when uh, we uh, do the solidification of alloys, then uh, the mode of solidification can be planar, cellular, or dendritic. And depending upon the uh, solidification condition, uh, you know, and the material system involved. So, um, what type of material system is there? Uh, how much is the value of K, or how you know, uh, what is the you know, freezing range? Uh, you know situations. So, depending on that, so that is the material system involved. And on that basis, uh, you have uh, you know uh, four basic types of uh, solid liquid interface morphology as observed during the solidification. One is uh, planar, uh, second is cellular, uh, third is columnar dendritic, and fourth is equiax dendritic. So, if you uh, look at the planar, so and the, as it is uh, very much uh, clear that when you have uh, the uh, planar interface, your interface will be move uh, in a plane manner. So, that this will has to move. So, this side you have solid and this interface will move and uh, that is known as the planar uh, you know plane front solidification also it is known as. Then uh, you have uh, the you know cellular. So, in the case of uh, cellular what is happening uh, that uh, you will have uh, the, the conditions like uh, like this it will be moving. So, so this way uh, you know uh, so this is the case of uh, you know uh, so you will have a, a front which is there which is moving and uh, that is uh, you know so this is a case um, that is planar and this is cellular. Now, uh, further uh, you know uh, you will have uh, depending upon the severity case you will have the columnar uh, dendritic structure. So, in that case uh, the structure is uh, something like this. So, you will have uh, the dendritic structure, but you have a you know a, a, a columnar you know uh, structure. So, this way it will be going like uh, So, so this way you will have uh, these dendrites which will be seen and, and then they will be having uh, this columnar you know growth uh, of spikes uh, you know uh, all along. So, and, and you primarily you see that uh, these uh, so depending upon the undercooling observed that we will study you will have uh, you know such kind of uh, you know structure which is uh, seen. So, that is known as uh, columnar dendritic structure. So, then uh, next uh, if the severity is further more in those cases you have uh, the uh, equiax type of dendritic structure. So, this is your uh, columnar dendritic. Then you have the uh, equiax dendritic. So, uh, in those cases uh, you have uh, you know uh, structures like uh, so here you have so so you will have these dendrites uh, you know appearing but then ultimately uh, you will have uh, you know these also in the in the terms of uh, you know equiax structure. So, you will have here it is in the form of a column and here it is uh, basically uh, you know uh, growth is in all the directions. So, that way this kind of structure which you get uh, you will have the uh, equiax uh, you know uh, this is uh, you know uh, equiax dendritic mode of uh, solidification. So, uh, so that basically uh, you know this is because of the uh, phenomena which is uh, basically nothing but the undercooling which you experienced in the uh, liquid portion uh, ahead of the solidification front or, or the interface. And because of the you know cooling conditions and because of the properties of the material this uh, cooling is uh, experienced under cooling is experienced and there the crystals are formed their solidification occurs. And uh, on that basis uh, uh, you know this, uh, this type of uh, because of that you know this kind of structures are uh, likely to be formed. So, uh, 
you know for that uh, there is a theory which is proposed that is uh, the constitutional uh, supercooling so this is uh, you know proposed by chalmer and co-workers so and uh, then you will have uh, also the uh, breaking down of the uh, solid liquid uh, you know planar interface during uh, solidification so that is uh, uh, so one is your constitutional supercooling that is and and, uh, uh, and and also you have the interfacial stability you know uh, interface stability theory that is also given by the mullins and all that so there are uh, two aspects uh, one is the thermodynamic aspect and another is the uh, kinetic and uh, uh, heat transfer aspect so so we will talk about the uh, constitutional super uh, cooling uh, you know in this lecture and uh, uh, basically that is uh, uh, by which we will try to understand that how your uh, you know these uh, dendritic structures are developed uh, in the case of uh, you know uh, materials or maybe cellular or then columnar dendritic and aqueous dendritic type of structures depending upon the different conditions how you get uh, you know uh, these kind of uh, structures. So, uh, if you uh, you know look at uh, the you know uh, the case uh, of uh, uh, I mean that is in a phase diagram if you uh, see. So, if you suppose we have already seen that uh, in the case of uh, you know phase diagram what we see is that uh, when you are go talking about uh, this situation now as we have seen that uh, uh, you have uh, uh, one increase in the solute segregation uh, uh, at the interface and uh, then uh, that basically uh, will have a um, uh, you know uh, it, a, a trend that how that uh, you know is formed. So, suppose this is your C naught. So, now uh, you know C naught by k. So, you will have the segregation that is happening from C naught by k to you know C naught. So, uh, that is uh, you know uh, your uh, you know this is the because of the build up you know do you have uh, uh, no diffusion in the solid in those cases as we have in, uh, studied in our uh, third case. So, uh, in those cases this will be uh, you know solute rich uh, boundary. So, now uh, in those cases uh, what is happening that because of this you will have the uh, change in the uh, you know uh, 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 liquidus line. So, as the um, concentration of solute is uh, high and uh, the uh, it is uh, you know de decreasing and coming to the uh, C naught that is your uh, uh, in, in the domain where it is liquid. So, in, in those cases uh, you will have. Uh, so, because of that if you look at the uh, you know uh, line. So, if you look at the liquidus line it will be uh, you know changing. So, because of this you will have uh, you know change in the liquidus line like this. Now, uh, because of this uh, if your uh, you know if your, your tangent line goes like this if this is your uh, you know thermal gradient line. Uh, so, this is uh, uh, you know this is the slope that is your uh, delta T upon uh, uh, d l by r. So, that is your uh, slope of the uh, uh, you know tangent. So, this is slope. Now, if this is the you know slope and uh, your uh, uh, you know uh, and if the slope of the uh, you know thermal gradient line. So, that if you are uh, you know cooling in such a manner that if your actual slope is uh, you know going like this. So, if your uh, you know and this slope is basically is equal to delta t upon uh, d l by r. So, we have already uh, talked about uh, uh, these um, values. So, if uh, now in this case the slope which you are getting this slope g this is uh, less than uh, delta t upon d l by r. So, what is happening that uh, 
you know uh, so uh, g by r that is uh, uh, if you look look at this so g by r is less than delta t by dl now uh, in these cases what is happening that uh, what we see that this region basically so this is your uh, you know this is delta t Now, if you have to avoid these uh, you know uh, constitutional undercooling, this, this uh, reason, this shaded reason is basically experiencing uh, you know the undercooling in these cases. Now, if you have to avoid uh, you know now if it is uh, you know facing, uh, if it is experiencing the uh, undercooling in such case, in that case uh, there will be uh, crystallization which will be starting. Now, uh, this uh, basically uh, condition that is uh, you, if you have to avoid this uh, to avoid this uh, constitutional undercooling. So, uh, as we see that uh, this uh, difference in the concentration is uh, is achieved because of the uh, you know limited diffusion. And uh, for that, uh, uh, since there is, uh, you know, uh, there is a reason which is uh, formed that is known as the that that experiences under cooling. So that's why this uh, principle is or, or this uh, reason is known as constitutionally under cooled reason. And for avoiding that, uh, you know, your condition should be G by R has to be more than uh, you know more than or equal to delta T by you know d l. If it is uh, you know uh, less than that in that case uh, you will have the uh, you know uh, the reason which is uh, formed that is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, constitutionally undercooled and there the solidification will occur and uh, this uh, d l by r basically is nothing but the delta. So, uh, based on that only uh, you know uh, you are finding this uh, delta t upon uh, d l by r. So, that is your uh, uh, slope of this. So, this will be delta t and your uh, uh, delta form that is uh, uh, your d l by r. So, based on that only this uh, uh, condition. So, your delta is by nothing but this is uh, d l by r. So, uh, once uh, you have uh, the if there is a small uh, you know under cooling observed so, your uh, you know the planar interface that breaks. So, uh, depending upon uh, the slope of this line basically you will have uh, you know uh, you know experience of uh, the uh, moderate degree of uh, supercooling or higher degree of uh, supercooling and based on that the uh, structure will be uh, changing. So, uh, what you can uh, see is that uh, when you have uh, you know there is uh, only uh, you know in the case of uh, um, uh, you know normal case uh, when uh, uh, your uh, you have um, the uh, you know uh, what we have seen is that when your uh, uh, slope uh, of that uh, thermal line is moving like this in that case uh, you will have uh, the plane front now uh, if uh, you know you uh, go to uh, the uh, super cooling uh, you know uh, area now if your uh, this is your uh, change in the uh, liquidus temperature line and uh, if your line uh, you know moves like this if you have uh, a very uh, small region of uh, you know a small degree of under cooling is experienced in those case uh, your structure uh, will be found will be you know that is uh, that is, this is uh, uh, what you get uh, in the case of uh, the uh, cellular cellular type of uh, you know solidified uh, structure will be uh, there and uh, you know in this case uh, you will have uh, you know when you have actual case so in this case you go for planar so you will have the uh, uh, you know increasing degree of supercooling So, 
Uh, if you go further and uh, when uh, the, in, uh, the the uh, the uh, line goes like this you have uh, increased degree of uh, you know uh, super cooling in those cases you will have the uh, you know columnar dendritic uh, type of a structure so you will so your structure uh, goes like this So, this occurs when you have uh, you know uh, your uh, this uh, you know line. So, at the interface if your cooling conditions gives you uh, this line uh, and uh, uh, this is further increased your constitutional under cooling is uh, further more in those cases you are getting uh, you know such kind of uh, columnar dendritic structures. However, if your uh, you know if your cooling rate uh, you know gives you this kind of line where uh, there is a very large degree of uh, super cooling experienced. In that case uh, you are going to have the equiax dendritic structure. So, you will have you know this way uh, you will have uh, you know columnar uh, you will have the dendritic structures, but they are no longer columnar. So, you will have uh, So, this way uh, you know you know you are getting. So, this way uh, this is the so this way this is your columnar dendritic. And uh, in this case uh, you come to the uh, cell you know the equiax dendritic. So, you know the dendritic structures are formed uh, you know because uh, uh, what you see is that uh, in this case uh, uh, you will have uh, you know in the, the ahead of the interface you will have uh, some region where there will be undercooling observed and in those uh, regions because of the undercooling the, the uh, you know there will be uh, crystallization started. And uh, that leads to the you know, formation of uh, you know uh, such a structure. So, you will have a mushy zone kind of uh, uh, zone where you will have solid and liquid both are formed. Now, uh, these are uh, basically uh, you know not uh, advantageous in the sense that uh, when you have uh, uh, such structures in those cases uh, you have the chance that uh, in between uh, these arms uh, you have the probability of uh, liquid getting trapped and that leads to uh, you know so while solidification uh, that leads to the probability of formation of uh, uh, shrinkage cavities because uh, once they are uh, you know so in, in such cases if suppose you have uh, you know also, they, that uh, these are uh, you know in, in such cases as we have discussed you have uh, uh, you know there is no proper uh, uh, you know uh, uh, uniform composition in, uh, in, in the solid towards the end. And also uh, you will have uh, the chance of trapment of uh, liquid zone in between uh, you know these arms and if they are trapped then uh, certainly you will have micro shrinkage. Uh, possibilities uh, in such cases. So, so that way uh, you will have uh, this is because of so that uh, basically is uh, uh, because of these uh, uh, problems related to the solute redistribution and that is uh, uh, because of the change in the diffusional properties uh, in case of uh, solids or in case of liquids. So, uh, you know so, those uh, uh, you know so further many a times what we do do is that uh, uh, you further do the heat treatment to uh, uh, because uh, the diffusion uh, uh, 
uh, is uh, decreasing with temperature again diffusion rate. So, what we do is ma in many cases we do the uh, treatment for the chemical homogenization because uh, uh, then the diffusion will uh, further start uh, because uh, you know as we have discussed that in, uh, in, in such cases when there is a, a limited uh, diffusion in solid um, state or there is no diffusion in solid state. So, you will have uh, the chance of the change in the uh, concentration of solute as the solid is formed uh, from time to time. So, you will have uh, you know a code structure you will have difference of concentration of the solute and, and for that uh, we do it. But as far as the, the dendritic structures are cons, uh, you know uh, concerned because of the, uh, the uh, you know uh, concept of constitutional supercooling, it is because of the material properties. So, how you know uh, how the uh, phase diagram looks like. So, what we uh, depending upon you know the uh, degree of uh, you know the, the cooling rate which is experienced. So, based on that basically you will have the experience of the degree of supercooling and when you know that that is formed so so in those cases your planar front is broken basically and you know the plane front is broken down you know and then you will have the uh, on start of or, or the start of the formation of uh, the cellular type if your uh, uh, degree of undercooling is less or uh, you know as it uh, goes on increasing. So, it will move to columnar dendritic where you will have the arms uh, vertically you know coming in one direction because that will be your uh, primary direction of uh, uh, growth of the uh, arm and you will have some secondary growth also secondary arms will be there connected to it, but ultimately you will have mostly the columnar structure. Whereas, uh, when it is uh, further more then uh, it is uh, enough to uh, provide the random nucleation you know uh, uh, and, in, and in those cases you will have the dendritic structure, but uh, then it will be equiaxed and, and so further uh, you know. Uh, uh, you will have the structures uh, not looking like oriented in a particular direction, but uh, it will have uh, an equiax type of uh, structure which uh, you know occurs uh, in this uh, case. So, basically based upon the temperature gradient line uh, you know uh, you know this way uh, this constitutional undercooling occurs and uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, constitutional undercooling uh, leads to the formation of the you know the dendritic structures in the case of alloys. Thank you very much.